Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more problem from lead code. The problem name is validate IP address. So the problem is not too difficult. It only has different conditions and we just have to implement that. So let us quickly go over the problem statement and the conditions. So you are given a string that is query IP. Return IPv4 if it is a valid IPv4 type of address and IPv6 if it is a valid IPv type of like address or neither if it is not any type of valid uh, IP address and now they are given the conditions now if a valid IPv4 address is given to you then it is in this format that is x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot x4 so there are four numbers where every number x of i is between 0 to 255 and they cannot contain any leading zero so you cannot be like this that is 0 1 or uh, like 0 0 or like any other symbol is also not required because it's only between 0 and 2 2 so these are valid IP4 or now for coming from to IP6 for IP6 there are 8 numbers separated by colon as you can see and these are dots these are colon and in this so every number is of at least 4 length in this every number is as you can see 3, three length and uh, like it is of 4 length and these are hexadecimal strings which means that it can contain A to F small capital A to F large capital and uh, xi leading zeros are also allowed in x of i in this okay so as you can say these are different ip b six type of addresses and you just have to check all of that now the very big like basic condition is just to check out first extract out these numbers okay and then let's check out these conditions and the length of this should be four if we have four numbers check out these conditions we have eight numbers check out these conditions and if it is nothing then neither so not much of an explanation required here move directly move down to the code part so that it will become more clear to you okay so what is actually here is yep so what you can actually see is that we have the query ip and then we will call these functions because it is better to make different function or, or just to accumulate everything and make it clumsy so what we have taken is that chip check for ipv6 and ipv4 okay we have given this query ip here if this is true then return ip6 ipv4 or if it is neither then return neither. now let us move down to individual functions so ipv4 let us move down to that So IPv4 is here. Now, what we'll do in this function is that we have to first extract out every number from that. And when we're checking for IPv4, we are assuming that there are dots because in IPv6 there are calling. So for dots, what we'll do is that we have to iterate over this whole string and extract out the numbers which are separated by dots. Now, I have already talked about in also a lot of previous videos as well that when we are iterating over a string, let's take one example let's say the number is like this one two dot one two three dot one one two dot one two three dot or oh, let's say this is a string now how we can extract out these numbers what we'll do is that we'll make a for loop hit it over this whole string and keep on taking out these numbers so one then two and whenever we see a dot we tell that okay now this is the number that we have just stored is a complete number and we have to like pause at this point and extract out this number so this is 12 and then from a dot we we'll start a, a fresh number so now it is one two three dot so whatever number we have extracted till now is one two three then we we'll start a fresh a, a new number so one one two a one one two and then when we start from the, for the last number then that's the problem it is one two three and then there is no dot eventually because we'll only stop or take out the number at a dot because that's our logic but because there is no dot eventually in this number or like whatever ip that we have we have to like handle this case eventually because we assume that this number is built it is stored somewhere but we have not taken it out because we have not seen a dot so it is a good like you can like there's a hack around it what you can do is that in this string that you have taken put a dot like a dot for your reference you can remove out like later also but put a dot for your reference so that you know that there's a dot and eventually because this is the last number it will terminate at a dot and it will take out this number eventually also that's the very good uh, trick you can use so what we have done is that we have pushed this dot eventually in this ip and then we have this store which will store all the numbers we will iterate over all the string that we have from this ip string and wherever we see a dot we will store that particular number that we have 
uh, like a few minutes till now in the store so in the store we'll push that particular number and we'll now start afresh and if it is not a dot we will keep on building the number now this actually help us to not go out of bound and to just check out that what is the last number it is stored if there is no dot no, no dot okay so this is just one for loop pure for loop and that dot actually help us to get all the numbers out and store in, inside the store now we have all the numbers we just have to check that all the numbers should be like the total count should be four because in ip4 there are four uh like in uh, four numbers actually in ip4 these four numbers x1 x2 x3 x4 okay then we have those four numbers and then for all those four numbers we have to check all of these condition that if the size of that number is get like uh what you can see greater than greater than three that it is four then it is invalid because the only size can we get from 0 to 255 so it's a three digit number so if you have four digit number in ip4 then it is invalid or if it's enough if the size is zero because if like it's an there is no digit it's a dot or dot okay there are two consecutive digits and there's a dot between that so that is also invalid if the size is two okay like uh let's say get like uh the size is two but what you eventually have to say is that it should not be consisting of leading zeros okay similarly for uh like there is no leading zero that is the condition here and now eventually when we have that number we have to convert that number because it is stored in string to that like same number format and you just have to check that the number should be between this range that is 0 to 255 and if it is like if the number is larger than 255 or less than zero that it is also invalid so it is false if all the conditions are met if it is not hitting any of these conditions then it is a true number and it is written true that it is a correct IP, ipv4 type of address moving now to the ipv6 type of address we will again have to do the same thing that we have been separated by a colon so insert an extra colon in the end do the same thing except at all the eight numbers so eventually the store should be consisting of eight numbers that we have to match then we'll it over every number and what our condition is that for every number uh the size if, is greater than four because the size of this is as you can see it is strictly bound to i just go here ipv6 so the length like the length of that number whatever number has should be equal to four if it is not equal to four then it is bad okay and uh, six yep so if we get in four then it is bad then whatever number we have you have to iterate over that whatever number we have okay for every number what we'll do that it should be consisting of only these characters that is small a to cap small f capital a to capital f so we just have to check that and also digits also leading zeros or number can be also because it is hexadecimal so all the digits can be also included in that number so for every number that is like this number 2001 or 0 db8 so for every number we just have to check that all the three conditions are met and if it is not met then it is false and if all the conditions are met for every number inside this uh, like ip that we have extracted out or number that we extracted out then it is a valid ip v6 type of thing we turn to so these are the valid conditions we just have to check that out nothing much complicated here as as in we just have to extract all the numbers check out that these conditions are valid if all the conditions are valid then it is a true ipv or ip6 and if nothing is valid then it is a need to type of thing so what you can directly see is that now you might be thinking what is like time complexity time complexity is actually constant why because we have a constant length that is it stored here though we are doing a for loop but either it will be like a eight digit or a four digit so it is a very standard type of or like there's a very upper bound to this number of operations or for loop we will do it's not depending upon the n like it will be very large okay like the user can make it very large but still the like the input can be very large but still if it is a valid thing then it will be not too large and we will only go in this for loop when the store size is four so if store size is four then we eventually know that there are four numbers only in the store that we will be iterating over this uh, string so then eventually this is a for loop so the over time velocity will be an uh, like an overview is a, a, like uh, you can say like absolute only or like by absolute i mean that it is constant time velocity only but uh, not too much of a linear time velocity that's our logic and code parts and what not we have not used any extra space here as well so constant space constant time constant space problem and that's the solution this problem thank you for watching the video till the end if you have any doubts comment down in the comment box i will see you in the next one coding and bye